Which country can build a better fighter jet, the USA or Russia? These two countries have been facing off for over a century since the days of the Cold War, especially in their military power. The US leads with advanced fighters like the F-15 EX Eagle II, F-22 Raptor, F-A-18 Super Hornet, while Russia instills fear in its enemies with impressive jets like the Sukhoi Su-35, Su-57 Felon, and MiG-35. In fact, these fighter jets have faced off against each other in war zones like Syria and Ukraine. So, watch till the end to find out who has the better fighter jet, the USA or Russia? When Navy Lieutenant Commander Michael M. O. B. Tremel flew into the gut of war-ravaged Syria in an F-A-18E Super Hornet fighter jet, he had no idea that he would become part of modern military aviation history. He was sipping coffee at almost 700 miles per hour, 20,000 feet above the earth, going towards the Battle of Raqqa. This event occurred in 2017 over the skies of Syria, a region fraught with tension and conflict. In June of that year, Tremel's fighter jet shot down a Syrian Su-22 fighter bomber near the city of Raqqa. Although Syria used the Su-22 fighter, it was provided by Russia and has remained a versatile weapon in the Air Force. Tremel was on a mission to protect US-backed Syrian Democratic forces on the ground who were looking to reclaim territory from ISIS. As the Sukhoi Su-22 approached the area, it dropped bombs on the Democratic forces. Tremel, in his Super Hornet, tried to make contact with the Syrian pilot but received no response. So he launched an AIM-120 AMRAAM missile. The missile struck the Su-22, sending it spiraling to the ground in flames. This single event marked the first air-to-air -air unaliving by a U.S. fighter since 1999. It also showcased the capability of the F-A-18E Super Hornet, underscoring the complexity of modern air combat where split-second decisions have massive consequences. Surprisingly, these were not the only fighter jets in serious skies around this time. Russia's Su-35 jets were also active, flying in close proximity to U.S. and coalition aircraft. There were also many reports of tense intercepts between America's Su-35s and the F-22 Raptor from the USA. Fortunately, none of these resulted in direct combat. Russia continues to use its Su-35 fighter jets to assert its country's presence and protect its interests in the region, making it a strong and frequent adversary for Western air forces. This real-world confrontation between the fighter jets made by the US and Russia shows the constant fight for dominance between the two countries. Air combat is one of the latest forms of warfare in modern history, and it is high stakes and complex. Still, it was the perfect way to introduce the Sukhoi Su-35 and the US fighter jets, which are all advanced and battle-tested for fighting in modern conflicts. Fighter jets have become one of the most interesting topics in the modern military, and the best way to compare a country's prowess. If you think these jets are amazing, then let us know what other topics you would like us to cover next. Send your ideas in the comments. Fighter jets emerged in wars during World War II, especially in the last two years of the war. The first ever operational jet fighter was the Messerschmitt Me 262, which became part of the German Air Force in April 1944. Meanwhile, the jet-to-jet -jet victory happened six years later during the Korean War. This impressive victory was done by Lieutenant Russell J. Brown, who shot down a Russian MiG-15 with an American F-80C. This was a significant event in the history of fighter jets and the first time jet-propelled aircraft engaged in air-to-air -air combat. The first-generation fighter jets were similar to piston-engined aircraft in appearance. They had limited controllability and short turbine lifespans. Soon after, radars and missiles were developed on jets. There was also the development of multi-role jet fighters to provide battlefield support for combat pilots. One of the major events was stealth technology, which occurred in the 1990s. Most military experts would argue that US fighter jets are generally superior to Russian fighter jets due to their advanced stealth technology, combat capabilities, and superior avionics, especially with the latest US models. However, Russian models have competitive features in diverse areas like maneuverability, raw speed, and agility due to their aerodynamic designs and powerful engines. The F-15 EX Eagle II stands out as one of the best fighter jets to come out of the United States. In fact, it's the backbone of the Air Force's tactical fighter fleet. It is a multi-role fighter jet with a modern software infrastructure, 
including impressive features like next-gen sensors, radars, and networking capabilities. Plus, it is fitted with advanced avionics and a longer service life, while having a lower operating cost compared to other jets. The main purpose of the US F-15 EX Eagle II is homeland defense and airbase protection missions, complementing stealth fighters like the F-35 and F-22. It can be fitted with programmable missiles such as the AIM-7, AIM-9, and AIM-120A. It is powered by two General Electric F-110 GE-129 afterburning turbofan engines. It's the first fighter jet from the US to have an LAD glass cockpit with a touchscreen interface, digital fly-by-wire flight controls, and an APG-82 ASA radar. It offers a higher speed and longer range and even boasts the longest standoff air-to-air -air engagement range of any other fighter. The F-15 EX Eagle II is currently being used by the Oregon Air National Guard's 142nd Fighter Wing, which is the first operational unit to receive the aircraft. The U.S. government also plans to deploy it in the 144th Fighter Wing in Fresno and the 159th Fighter Wing in New Orleans, all within the Air National Guard. It would potentially be used by the active duty squadrons in the Pacific Air Forces at Kadena Air Base, Okinawa, Japan. It'll be hard to assess the US F-15 EX Eagle II fighter jet in a real-life conflict because it has not yet been deployed in any active wars, battles, or conflicts. It's pretty new to the Air Force and is an advanced variant of the F-15 model. The F-15 fighter jet is already known for its impressive track record during the Gulf War, Operation Desert Storm, with a high number of air-to-air -air victories against the Iraqi forces. It has also been deployed in conflicts in Iraq, the Balkans, and Afghanistan. Based on the F-15 fighter jet's track record, one can expect that the upgraded F-15 EX Eagle II would be even better in real combat. Although it hasn't seen combat, the F-15 EX Eagle II is considered an important aspect of the Air Force's modernization strategy, especially in the areas of air superiority and strike missions. Now that it is being integrated into operational units, it has undergone various tests and evaluations to ensure readiness for future missions. The F-15 EX Eagle II would be a key asset in future air conflicts, particularly since it can carry a larger payload than any other US fighter and can be used for a wide range of roles, including air-to-air -air combat and ground strikes. On the other hand, we have one of the best Russian fighter jets, the Sukhoi Su-35. This jet is designed for air superiority and ground strikes. It is a single seat, twin-engine fighter jet with impressive capabilities like enhanced maneuverability and a powerful radar system. It is considered a fourth-generation fighter jet and was even designed to compete with jets from the United States and China. In terms of specs, the Su-35 has a maximum speed of Mach 2.25 and a ceiling of 18,000 meters. It also has a record-breaking range of over 3,500 kilometers. The Sukhoi Su-35 is fitted to perform impressive maneuvers like a minimum radius dead loop, which is basically an on-the-spot turn. Its engines have a powerful AL-41F 1S thrust augmented engine, better than the previous aircraft in its family. Unlike the F-15 EX Eagle II, the Su-35 has already been in active combat. It has been in two wars, the first in the 2015 Russian military intervention in Syria. Russia deployed four of the fighter jets for the first time in combat. Then, in 2022, during Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the Su-35 was used for air superiority missions and reported at least seven air-to-air -air victories over Ukraine's fighter jets. However, one time, the Su-35 was shot down by Ukrainian forces during the war. During the war in Ukraine, the Su-35 has been involved in several incidents, including friendly fire, crashes, and shootdowns by the Ukrainian forces. In fact, in September 2023, a Russian S-300 surface-to-air missile accidentally shot down the Su-35. Due to this, the Su-35 faced mixed results during the Ukraine war and its performance was inconsistent. This has raised questions about Russia's ability to compete with Western forces. When comparing the F-15 EX Eagle II and the Su-35 fighter jets, you should consider their avionics, weaponry, versatility, and maneuverability. The former is designed for air superiority, with significant ground attack and electronic warfare, while the latter emphasizes superior maneuverability, allowing it to outmaneuver other contemporary fighters in dogfights. 
In terms of avionics and sensors, the F-15EX is equipped with the AN-APG-82 ASA radar, which has advanced target tracking and data processing, and can track multiple targets over long distances. Meanwhile, the Su-35 uses the Airbus-E radar, which is also highly capable but is better for detecting stealth aircraft at close ranges. And then, there's the weapons payload, as the F-15EX can carry up to 29,500 pounds of weapons, way more than any other US fighter jet. It can even carry future hypersonic weapons. On the other hand, the Su-35 can carry up to 17,600 pounds of weapons across 12 hardpoints. It usually carries air-to-air -air missiles, precision-guided bombs, and anti-ship missiles. The Su-35 is better in terms of maneuverability, even described as super maneuverability due to its thrust vectoring engines. This gives it an edge in close range engagements, making it easy to get behind an opponent in a dogfight or perform aerial maneuvers. The F-15EX offers excellent acceleration and speed, but it's not as maneuverable. It relies mainly on long range capabilities. In terms of electronic warfare, the Su-35 is not as advanced as what's being developed for the F-15EX. The advanced electronic warfare systems in the F-15EX can survive in high threat environments like disabling enemy radar and communications in modern battlefields. The Su-35 has been used in active combat, especially in Syria. It has flown air superiority missions, engaged in intercept missions, and provided air support to ground troops. It has had a solid track record so far but it has not fought directly against Western fighters. Meanwhile, the F-15EX is still new and has not yet seen combat, so its operational record is unproven. Still, it builds on the long and successful combat history of the F-15 family, which has a near-perfect combat record over several decades. So, is the US or Russia better at making fighter jets? Many people say that in a head-to-head -head conflict, the F-15EX Eagle II would dominate in long-range engagements and complex electronic warfare environments, while the Su-35 has an advantage in close-range dogfights. Which is better depends on the specific mission, really. What do you think is better? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to let us know what topic you think we should cover next. Thanks for watching.